Hello everyone, Jolene here from Bookworm Adventure Girl um, and Jax, as you can see, he wants to be part of this video. So um, welcome back. And if you are new, thanks so much for checking out my channel. Please hit subscribe and stick around. Um, as many of you know, I love getting book recommendations from other booktubers, from subscribers and commenters and, you know, people that I talk about books all the time. And last year I did three or four videos where I shared some of the books that really piqued my interest. And it's it's a really great way for me to highlight um, some of the books that I'm thinking about reading and also to shout out some really great people and their channels. Um, and it helps me keep track of the books that, you know, I want to read as well. So today I have 12 books to share with you. Um, I am going to start with the amazing Ollie from Criminali. So just before the end of last year, Ollie shared five of the best big thrilling books to lose yourself during the festive season. And one of those books was The Terror by Dan Simmons, who is an author that I've never read before. I've heard of, sort of. Um, this book immediately got my attention and it went on my TBR. It's historical fiction and horror, and it's based on true events of the Franklin Expedition in 1845 uh, with a twist, and I love the intrigue around this expedition. And I am always a bit surprised like where it comes up, especially in literature, so I hope to get to this soon. The next book came to my attention um, when I was watching a video from Beautiful Books, and it, it's How the Stars Came to Be, and it's the uh, deluxe edition. It's by Poonam Mystery. And this came from their video, 60 Most Beautiful Books of 2022. And it was like a holiday gift guide. And this edition just looks stunning. And I was quite taken by it. So it's on my list for when I'm looking for a really beautiful edition and like different kind of book. Next up is from Eric Carl Anderson's video, Winter 2022 Reading List. Um, Eric mentioned Seven Empty Houses by Samantha Schweben, um, which was translated from the Spanish by Megan McDowell. And this is a collection of short stories, and each story is about a different house. And I think that they are like darker stories, with lots of twists, which I really like. So I want to give this a try for sure. Up next is The Book of Eve by Carmen Bolu Boloza, maybe? Um, translated by Samantha Schnee. And I believe that this is translated from the Spanish as well. And I learned about this book from Elise and her channel, Elise Reads. Um, when she did a video on most anticipated 2023 releases, this book will be released in May of 2023. And first, before I say anything about this book, um, the cover. Let's just look at the cover. So this is a retelling of the book of Genesis from Eve's point of view. And it has a feminist bent and gives a new perspective. So I love books like this and authors who are brave and bold enough to reimagine, you know, something as significant as the Bible. So next is a book from Anne's channel, Anne Novella. Anne did a great series of her top 10 books of 2022. And in that series, she talks about um, her top 10 novels of 2022. And it's Orpheus Builds a Girl by Heather Perry. Uh, that made that list and I thought it sounded so intriguing. Um, it's historical fiction based on a true story and it's about two sisters and a German doctor's love story with one of the sisters and then the other sister um, has a different version of the story. It sounds compelling to me, a bit Frankenstein-ish in a way too. Um, we'll see. I don't know if that's true. Mornings in Jenin by Susan Abulhawa, I think it is. Um, I heard about this from Sajid at Books Are My Social Life when he did a video called My Favorite Books of 2022. And this book made that list. And it's a heart-wrenching story about four generations 
of a family who live in the Jenin refugee camp. And the blurb says that this novel could do for Pal Palestine um, what the kite runner did for Afghanistan. And I absolutely loved the kite runner. So if it is written like that and is a powerful story like that, then I say sign me up. This next book I've already picked up and it's Escape from Camp 14 by Blaine Hardin. Uh, Stella from It's Too Late to Apologize talked about this um, in her video and it was my current 20 favorite books. And she said that it dramatically reshaped perspectives. So I love that. And this is a nonfiction book about a man who escaped from a political camp in North Korea. And that in itself is fascinating to me, but even more incredible is that he was born in the camp and only knew life in the camp. So you can imagine, you know, what a shock it would be, that's an understatement, uh, to see life outside of it. So I'm very interested in this and I will either read this for um, People April, which is being hosted by Elizabeth at Bookwins and Books, um, and Roz at Scally Dandling about the books. Um, if I don't do it for that, then I will save it for nonfiction in November, um, which is always hosted by Olive at A Book Olive. So I think that it's a good fit for either one of those. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, the next book that I happen upon, um, because of Karen's community post, so this is from Karen from Roving Reader, Karen just put out the question on her community tab um, who had read Snow Dog Foot by Claudio uh, Morandini, I think it is, and it's translated from the Italian by Jay Okenden. And this is, um, I love when they put that right on the cover, who the translator is, and it makes my job so much easier. Um, Anne from Anne Novella responded saying that she had read it. And the thread of their conversation, you know, had me hooked. So Karen said, you know, also, somehow secretly, I need to hear your thoughts on who um, the foot belonged to and how they came into the position of having their foot found in, in the snow. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so then they talked about how um, you could make up your own mind and there may not have been a dog or a foot um, they don't mention anything about the snow, so, um, but they do say that there are many um, potential scenarios. So regardless, like, I need to find out what this book is about. And I've tried getting a physical copy, but it's next to impossible. So I may have to just um, download it, which isn't my favorite, but we'll see how that goes. So the next book I learned about from Kim from Middle of the Book March and Kim did an amazing video on fantastic debut novels. Uh, the books from her list that I have already read, I, I, like I also loved and agree that they are fantastic debuts. And one of the books that I have not read is Descent by Tim Johnston. So this is a thriller and Kim says that it's some of the best writing in a thriller. So that has my attention and it's about a family that goes to the mountains and the daughter disappears. And Kim says that she didn't want to leave the book. Um, so that definitely, to me, that's high praise for, for me. So um, I want to check it out. Next is a book that was um, highlighted from Well-Traveled Books who um, talked about three Japanese books in her video uh, called Reading from Japan. They all sounded good, um, but the, it's the Awasawa Murders by Riku Onda, and it's translated from the Japanese by Alison Watts. And this is a historical fiction novel about 17 people who die at a house party. And the only person who survives is a blind girl. And it seems like there are a number of twists in this as well. And it's another one that I just am really intrigued by the whole premise and where it will go. Another nonfiction is Into the Silence by Wade Davis, which I saw on Camilla's channel, um, Haste G Books. So Cam Camilla did a video on um, the Bailey Gifford prizes 
uh, their 25th anniversary winner of winners. So I'm interested since it's supposed to be the top of the top of this prize. And I'm also interested because it is about the first three British expeditions of Mount Everest. And I am very interested in climbing stories for some reason, um, and survival stories really. And this includes some really interesting history and of course adventure, which I love as well. Um, so I would love to get to this book this year if possible. And last but certainly not least, um, Olive from Add a Book Olive uh, recently put out a video on upcoming book releases in April, May, and June uh, of this year. And I was interested in a couple of them, but I think the one that I'm going to highlight is actually another nonfiction book um, called Girls and Their Monsters. And this is by Audrey Claire Farley. So this is coming out in June, and this is the story of quadruplet sisters who were all diagnosed with schizophrenia, um, and this happened in the 1950s. So this has been likened to Robert Kolker's Hidden Valley Road, um, which I loved. Um, so I would really like to read this as well. So these are 12 books that I've added to my TBR that I think will be interesting um, reads and hopefully I can get to at least some of them um, this year. I will leave links below to all of the channels that I've mentioned and to the videos that I mentioned as well so you can check those out. Thanks to everyone who put these books on my radar. You're making my TBR explode. Um, please let me know if you have read any of these books. Are you interested in reading any of them? Um, what are your thoughts? I'm interested in all of that. I look forward to chatting with all of you in the comments. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and don't forget to make every day an adventure.